What's going on guys, Jbox here. For today, let's try the UNGAC Ultimate Realism Project by Joseph Elopre. If this is your first time using a mod or reshade, watch my previous videos first so you will know how to do it. Credits and thanks to Joseph Elopre for these mods. with their leadership and their play along with the big guy but what's happening right go. now kevin the big man is playing like a guard the skill level of these seven footers to be able to shoot threes dribble pass so it does seem like a guard centric league right now because everybody can play that position and there's the whistle illegal screen yeah quick foul to pick up right away here in the first quarter Mitchell with it. <clears throat> to the inside, Gobert. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. A much more physical player now than when he first entered the lead. Gobert powering it home. And when you talk about certain players having that it factor, Donovan Mitchell fits that bill. He does, confident in his approach, GA. Fearless on his attack. Donovan Mitchell is one of those guys who can go off for 50 if you let him get into rhythm. As long as he's in Utah, that team will remain competitive. And now the fast break, Irving with the ball. And the three off target. Stolen by Durant. Pass to Irving. Now Harden. ID by Bogdanovich. And, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. The Nets have gone 0 of 3 from the field to start the game. Durant dishes to Harden. Over Bogdanovich. Brooklyn now working with a new shot clock. Gobert with the block. You really have to be careful with Gobert lurking around. He'll send it back. Here's Mitchell, and he gets the jumper to drop. I tell you what, it's it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat. And so it's Harden bringing it up for the Brooklyn Nets. Nothing yet up on the scoreboard for them. They get a hand on it. It's stolen by Gobert. Here's Mitchell. And then Mitchell with the dunk. The hands of Gobert are consistently moving, which is why he comes up with these steals. The Nets still looking like they're getting going. They trail by six. Now, here is Irving. To the paint, here's Jordan. The basket good off the assist from Durant. This is what the analytics prefer. Shots at the rim or from three. Hook loose. Mitchell passes to O'Neal. Mitchell against Irving. No one near Conley as he lets it go. Hits the three-point bomb. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Harden scanning the floor. Six to shoot. And there's the pass to Durant over O'Neal. And no good, his first shot of the night, missing. And I was sure that was money on that one, but everyone has afforded an easy miss or two. Yes, let's look on the bright side. You got a great look. It's a play that you might know. Greg Mitchell's going to be right in the middle of it, leading the way. And on top of everything else he does, He's elite at getting his own shot. We've seen him carry this team offensively at times. Boy, he is special. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And from what we've seen from the Jazz so far, what's your take? In that first period, they showed a willingness to make the extra pass. And that's really hard on a defense, having to play deeper into the clock and having to cover a lot more ground. 
And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. And Brooklyn looking who they've got. We've got Durant. Brown out there with Irving. And it's Green. And it's Luawu in at the three. He has a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Bojan Bogdanovic was a pro in Europe for a decade before he joined the NBA. And the Croatian sharpshooter says a lot of players who are happy over there, but I wanted to have another challenge to play against the best in the world. That was the only thing that was important to me. Guys, he's lived up to that promise. He loves that challenge, and he's having success. D.A., thank you. And this is a guy who gets it done with instincts and skill. Niang is starting to carve out a nice niche for himself. And to add to that, you look at the last two years, he's pretty much doubled his playing time. Maybe not the biggest and most athletic guy, but George Niang typically makes the right basketball play. There's always room for someone like that on your team. And it's Mitchell missing. That was excellent contest, preventing him from making something that's usually automatic. Favors against Irving. Mitchell kicks to Niang. Back to Mitchell. Passes it to Clarkson. Takes the three. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. Derek Favors is a strong-willed player who fights for extra possessions. you got to box this guy out whenever a shot goes up. Pass to KD. Now, here's Brown. Five to shoot. Irving from long range. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. His second make from beyond the arc this quarter after hitting none in the first. And it's Mitchell with the ball for the Utah Jams. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. Clarkson finds Mitchell. Down low. Here comes... Kevin, you got to buckle up on that one. That time, a lot of young guys would have jacked up a shot. Patience. Man flashes open. Mitchell delivers the basketball on time. They get a bet. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. Brooklyn shooting their first free throws here for the night. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. Growing up, KD wanted to play for his favorite team, the Toronto Raptors, which featured his favorite player, Vince Carter. And both free throws good for Durant. We've seen him put a lot of pressure on the defense and then cash in at the line. From deep three-point range, and the last second attempt doesn't fall. And that'll do it for the first half. Game time. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. The steal. Well, if you want to get into your offense quickly before the defense can set up, creating turnovers is a great way to do it. Checking out the group for Quinn Snyder to start the second half. Conley and Mitchell, the talented backcourt pair. Agonovich out there with O'Neal. And it's Gobert in its center. You know, Greg, we know there's some power finishers in the NBA like Giannis Antetokounmpo, but he complains a lot that he needs to sell contact rather than muscle through it. How do you evaluate those kind of power finishers in the game well I mean there's still power will always play a role especially when you can add in quickness and athleticism and I think you start right there with Giannis I mean he's kind of epitomizes that LeBron obviously is still in that category and a guy like Kawhi Leonard he can send you into the stanchion when he gets going downhill as well here's Durant and Katie throws it down I'll tell you what Durant takes a lot of contact inside. Defenders try to muscle him, but it doesn't matter. Mitchell against KD. Mitchell, and it's blocked by Jordan. He gets it in there. 
Bogdanovich has got it all tied up now for the Jams. Brooklyn's gone three of four from long range in the game. The three from Harden. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. It doesn't matter how a defense plays him. Harden is going to make sure that the three-point shot is a primary weapon. Kindly, the pass to Bogdanovich. O'Neal kicks to Bogdanovich. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Only one for four in this half. Sometimes it's execution. Sometimes the shots just don't go down. Irving passes to Harden. Here's the teardrop, and it's blocked by Conley. Bogdanovich looking around. Lock at six. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. And no good. Inside. It's tipped. They double team KD. And Harris wide open. He shoots off target from outside. Jazz trail by three. Outside Bogdanovich. Here's Conley. And Jordan sends it back. Impeccable timing on the rejection. Jordan takes pride in his defensive capabilities. It seems like they found their rhythm offensively, and they're shooting the ball much better out of the break. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Here's Conley. Jordan with the rebound. Jordan's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. The smaller guys want to get into the body when they get inside. Get into the line, a good outcome for Kyrie. This is his first free throw of the game. And, and over the course of last year, he was up over 90%. And with a stroke like that, you see why. throws good for Irving I mean it's so impressive Kyrie scoring a that's it guys what do you think about these wines comment down below if you like this video hit the like button and share this to your friends please subscribe to help my channel grow and also click the notification bell so you are always updated with my latest videos thank you for watching guys and see you on my next video peace